so now we are seeing in the first chapter what is the fairy's name okay the fairy's name is pari yes and is she small or big she is very small because she can be held in the hand what is her best friend's name yes her best friend's name is ladu is he bigger than her yes he is a giant he is a big giant giants are small or big they are very big right so now why are they looking at the calendar yes we can see that it is marked that 1st june is the day of their first school first day of school so 1st june is first day of school yes what day do you think it is monday yes yes now in the next page what can you see laddu has gone to school sleep early or late yes he's gone to sleep early because the next day he has his school is do we all go to sleep early when we have school the next day yes of course we do so what do you see has pari gone to sleep early what does she prefer to do she prefers to play with her friends enjoy the night so what can you see she is doing a she is staying up late and playing with these insects yes the owl and the birds and the bat now here what do you think woke laddu up yes his alarm clock you can see he has a clock next to it and even the sun and what do you think the day is the day is monday that is 1st june when they have to go to school and what do you think laddu has done he has combed his hair neatly yes he has worn his uniform he has packed his bag he has even brushed his teeth can you see the small toothpaste out here in the brush and he looks neat and tidy right now why do you think that pari woke up late what was she doing the previous night so pari is still sleeping and she's woke up late because she was enjoying herself the previous night yes so if you sleep late what will happen you will get up also late and what are the task she needs to do she needs to get ready she has to pack her bag wear her uniform do many things now in this picture what do you think pari is going to do yes she is going to take a bath why it is important to have a bath because so that you are neat and tidy Yes has she finished wearing her uniform? Yes I think she has. But is her hair combed properly? No her hair is still messy. 
Yes, and is Ladu trying to help her? Yes, she has given her the brush and told her, Yes, Pari, take the brush and now brush your teeth. Right? Now, what is she doing, Pari? She is clipping her nails. Why is she clipping her nails or cutting her nails? Yes, because it has become big. Eating a healthy breakfast. Yes, we can see that Pari is having an apple. An apple is very good to eat. Right? Now, which of Pari's feet has a shoes on? The right or the left? The right leg has the shoes on. Right. Now, in the last page, what do you see? Do you think Pari has completed all her morning task? Yes. And does Pari look neat and tidy now? Yes, absolutely. She looks very neat and tidy. How do you she look at the beginning of the story. Now, how does she look at the beginning of the story? Does she look neat and tidy? No, she doesn't look neat and tidy. But now, at the end, after Pari has worn her uniform, dressed herself nicely, brushed her teeth, had her bath, she looks neat and tidy. So, should we dress up like Pari? Yes. But should we get up late like Pari? No, we should not. Get up late. We should be in time. Like the friend Laddu. Right children? So I am sure you are able to answer all the questions. And give reasons for your answer also.